Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to extract a name from an email address in Excel. So we want to retrieve the names from these email addresses and we're going to place them in column C here. And we're going to use a formula or a combination uh, of functions here to, to be precise. Now what we're going to look at doing is we're going to target the at symbol to get this done. We know that the at symbol in this example immediately follows the names of the individuals who who own this email account. So we want to target that and say we want to retrieve everything to the left. But then once that is done, we have the additional problem of this full stop in between the names. I don't want that. I want it to say you know Sally Space Priestfield. Bobby, Space, Johnson, and so on. So we're then going to look at, once the name is returned, removing that full stop and replacing it with a space. And that's our approach. Obviously, the uh, the structure of email addresses changes, uh, but there's a, a kind of assumption that it's going to be something similar to this. So a similar, if different, approach uh, for your needs. So let's have a look at how we can get it done here. We're going to use the left function so that we can extract information from the beginning of a cell. And this left function will first of all ask us where the text is. And that's easy, that's in cell B3. That's the cell to the left. Put in a comma, then it'll ask us how many characters. And that's the more awkward question because their names have a different number of characters. We don't know that. So we're going to use a function called find which will look for a text character and return its position so what number character it is and we're going to ask it to look for the at symbol so I'm going to say if you find the at symbol then the name will be everything directly to the left of that put the at symbol in these speech marks or double inverted commas there comma where is the text where should I look for the at symbol that's B3 still Comma, where should I start looking from? We'll say to start to look from the first character. So this is first example. It will look for the at symbol from the S of Sally. Uh, so we'll put number one. Now that's an optional question, an optional argument. And if we left that empty, it would look for number one anyhow. So maybe it's unnecessary for me to type that. But I do want to start from number one. I'm going to specify it. Closing bracket. Then I'm going to put minus 1 because the information you want to extract is everything to the left of the at symbol. So we can find the at symbol. The last character I want is the one directly before it. So minus 1. So let's put a closing bracket there. And at the moment, if I press enter, we are getting this. I can copy that down. Sally dot priestfield Bobby dot Johnson. So I'm extracting everything to the left of the at symbol. Yeah, the find is looking for the at symbol, return its position. I don't know what that is, let's say it's the 22nd character. Taking one off to find the last one of the name. Now I said I didn't want the full stop, so I'm taking this in an iterative process step by step. I'm just going to pop back into that formula. And before the left function, we're going to use another function now called substitute, which will replace existing text with new text. So I'm going to use substitute and ask it to look inside this text that's been returned. So I'll click on the end and put a comma there, look inside that text. Now what is the old text? What do you want me to look for and substitute? So you look for a full stop. That is what has always been used in this example to separate first name and last name. Comma, what would you like to replace it with? What's the new text? A space. Now I'm just going to put a closing bracket and ignore the last question there and run that. And now we have their name extracted from an email address. By substituting the full stop for the space. You know, and these other functions extracting what we needed, we have a desired approach. 
So that is one way of extracting a name from an email address. So email addresses differ in their structure. So I can't guarantee that will exactly work for you. However, the approach of targeting the at symbol is something that we can rely on. There will be an at symbol, you know, that your the name will be to the left. It's just what other symbols may be potentially in there. So it's kind of good head start. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergaga.com.